Hey guys, it's Ryan with AIInsiderTips.com and in this quick video, I'm going to be covering the announcement of GPT-40 Mini, which is OpenAI's now most cost efficient and small model. Obviously, this is an iteration of their GPT-40 model, which was released on May 13th of 2024. And this is the most advanced model that OpenAI has to offer inside ChatGPT. So in this quick video, I'm just gonna be kind of explaining what GPT-40 Mini is is give you my first thoughts, first reactions. Um, and I'm also gonna test this inside ChatGPT+. Plus. As you'll see here, I just refreshed it and I now have access to GPT-40 Mini. So we're just gonna do some quick prompts and test it against the original GPT-40 just to see what this model can actually do. So at a high level, it appears GPT-40 Mini is the replacement for GPT-3.5. Now, if I go back into my ChatGPT Plus account, you'll see here if I hit the drop down for models, I don't even see 3.5 in here anymore. So that would be my guess is they sunsetted 3.5 and now GPT-40 Mini is that replacement. So if you go back to the page here, and I'll leave a link to this and everything else that I mentioned in the video description below, you'll see here OpenAI says we expect GPT-40 Mini will significantly expand the range of applications built with AI by making intelligence such more affordable. So if you think about all the AI SaaS tools that use OpenAI and all their different GPT models to build their products, this is now going to make it more accessible. So they say here, an order of a magnitude more affordable than previous Frontier models and 60% cheaper than GPT 3.5 Turbo. Now, this is a big deal if this is true. The fact that it's 60% cheaper than 3.5 Turbo, and it's also better, I would assume, since it's based off GPT 4.0, uh, this is a pretty revolutionary thing here that OpenAI is doing. Um, there's all sorts of other information here. They have some benchmarks here where they did some model evaluation scores. Again, this is coming from OpenAI's website, so always take this with a grain of salt. Um, but you'll see here all the different benchmarks. Uh, the big thing to pay attention to here is this kind of orangish red, red bar. That's for GPT-40 Mini, the new model. Um, and then it looks like GPT 3.5 Turbo is kind of that that bluish that bluish one here, bluish green. I'm kind of colorblind, guys. I apologize about this. Um, but if you look at it on the graph um, in all these different categories, like math, for example, um, you'll see 3.5 Turbo scored a 43.1, whatever that means. And then 4.0 Mini scored a 70.2, 70, 70 excuse me. Um, and then you'll see also it's outperforming 3.5 Turbo and every other benchmark here known to man. Uh, it talks about the built-in safety measures, availability, and pricing. Um, and that's actually the next thing that I wanted to show you is the API pricing. So, and I'll leave a link to this in the description below too. This is just the API pricing for OpenAI's different models. Um, so here's GPT-4.0, their best and most expensive model. $5 for every million input tokens, $15 for every million output tokens. Now, if you compare that to GPT-4.0 Mini, 15 cents for every million input tokens and 60 cents for every million output tokens. That is quite a stark difference there. I don't have the percent increase off the top of my head um, of how much more expensive the original GPT-40 model is. Um, very inexpensive though from an API perspective. Uh, GPT-3.5 Turbo was even more expensive than GPT-40 Mini. So uh, very interesting to see that for those who use the API keys. So in terms of the response of this new release, I always like to look at Twitter and see what Sam Altman and some other people are saying in the AI community. Uh, Sam Altman is the CEO of OpenAI. I, I believe he still is anyways. Um, but anyways, he says, towards intelligence too cheap to meter, to meter, 15 cents per million input tokens, 60 cents per million output, which is what I just showed. Uh, most in, importantly, we think people will really, really like the new model. Um, and then he goes in to talk about some other things. Way back in 2022, the best model in the world was Text DaVinci 003. It was much, much worse than this new model. It cost 100 times more. So where he's going with this is that OpenAI is not only becoming more cost efficient for people to build on top of and use, it's also getting better too in the process. So uh, OpenAI developers had a tweet here where they talk about GPT-40 Mini, uh, compared it to 3.5 Turbo. I'll leave links to all this in the description below. Um, but if I actually go into ChatGPT now, let's test this really quickly to see, you know, the difference here between 4.0 and then 4.0 Mini. So I'm going to give it a really basic prompt here. So what I'm going to do is let's say you don't have time and you want to summarize this article in five bullet points. So I'm going to click GPT 4.0 Mini and I'm going to say, 
Um, help me summarize this article using five bullet points. Um, make sure they are high level and the most important takeaways from this article. Paste the link, give it a little bit here. Um, very, very fast in terms of its response time. That didn't surprise me at all. It says, here are five high level bullets summarizing the article in OpenAI's GPT-40 Mini. Um, so introduction, talks about the performance, talks about use cases, uh, GPT-40 Mini, more sustainable, uh, aims to advance AI technology. So it looks like it actually scraped through the article and gave me five high level bullet points. Then you can even follow up and say, um, is this better than GPT 3.5? Just do that and see what it says there. Um, GPT maintains the performance. So yeah, it just goes on about how it's better than 3.5. But I'm very impressed that it actually scraped that article. Now, one thing I will say is if you open up a new chat in Mini, so I'm going to click new chat, go to GPT 4.0 Mini. One thing I noticed right away is the vision component isn't here. So if I click GPT 4.0, notice how the vision component pops up here where you can attach images, you can attach PDFs, uh, you can connect apps like Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive. Um, you don't have access to the vision component in Mini. You also can't generate images. So if I say um, create or let's do generate an image of a dog. It's not going to be able to generate images. Now it can generate prompts for images that you can plug into GPT-40 using DALI or Midjourney or whatever the AI image generator you want to use. Um, but it, this model cannot generate images on its own. The other thing that's important to call out if I just start a new chat here is it also can't search the web in real time. So if I say um, search for Ryan Dozer on the internet, and just hit enter, it says, I don't have the ability to perform live web searches. So it can't search the web either, where GPT-40 can do that. So obviously the original GPT-40 model still is better. There's no doubt about that. So guys, where I see this new GPT-40 mini model being useful is really in two cases. Number one, it's its ability to quickly process simple text prompts, right? So think about short form content creation, ad copy, social media posts, ideation, subject lines for emails, actual email copy itself, things of that nature. Summarization, quickly summarizing an article in five bullet points, summarizing an email in five bullet points. Um, I, can, I said ideation too, right? Something that's very simple for this model to process and it can then spit it back in a matter of literally seconds. And the thing about it is it's also higher quality than what we got with GPT 3.5. So I think that's definitely a real world use case that you could start using GPT 4.0 mini on. Now, the second thing is going back to the API pricing. So if you think about all of these different AI SaaS tools that are built off of these GPT models and using API calls, I mean, you could go down the list of all these different AI writing tools, right? So Write Sonic, SEO Writing AI, Copy AI. Uh, I don't know if Jasper's built off GPT at this point anymore, but it could be uh, ScaleNut, PseudoWrite, et cetera, et cetera. There are all sorts of these AI writing tools and AI SaaS tools that are essentially white label open AI. Well, now they have a new model that's extremely more efficient and it's extremely cost effective. So before they're paying 50 cents per million input tokens, $1.50 per million output tokens using a worse model in 3.5 turbo. Uh, this is a great day for these AI SaaS tools. They now get a better model that's higher quality in terms of its outputs than 3.5 turbo. And it's only 15 cents per million input, 60 cents per million output. So now without even most users understanding what's going on and how these companies make money, they can maximize their profits using this GPT-40 mini model. So again, it's a great day for these AI SaaS tools when they can get access to these new models just like this. But uh, that's just a quick recap, guys, of this brand new model released by OpenAI today called GPT-40 Mini. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you going to start using this model? Uh, do you think it sucks? I just want to hear your guys' thoughts on OpenAI releasing this new model. Um, also, be sure to subscribe to my channel at AI Insider Tips if you haven't already. Uh, turn on that bell notification uh, to make sure you're getting notified when I release new videos. Um, appreciate all the support you guys have given me. Uh, hopefully, we can get to that 5K subscriber mark here at some point soon. I'm going to try to create more videos, uh, more tutorials, so be sure to stay tuned for that. 
Um, also, if you haven't gotten my guide on the best AI side hustles, I put this together showing you my favorite AI side hustles that can generate up to $5,000 a month in passive income online. I've personally done some of these myself, so I know it works. Uh, you can find this below this video in the pinned comment or description. Uh, again, guys, this is Ryan with AI Insider Tips. Appreciate you all being here, and I hope you all have a great day.